Hello, hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we are going to a restaurant that I've been wanting to go to for the longest time. Now this restaurant is near impossible to book. I've tried to book for so long. It's pretty much booked out indefinitely. The only reason we were able to get a booking was because um, someone last minute canceled and they posted it on their Instagram and my friend saw it and sort of messaged them within 10 seconds of it being posted and that's how we were able to get a spot. In today's video, we are heading to a place called Kuon and we're gonna be having their tempura omakase. Now, I do wanna take a moment and say a huge thank you to our sponsor for this video, Squarespace. Now, Squarespace has sponsored a few of our videos, but if you've never heard of them before, Squarespace has what you need to build a beautiful website for your business, your side hustle, your passion project, or if you wanna start an online store. They make building websites super simple. So for example, if you wanna create pages, you can drag and drop different templates onto it. In addition to that, if you wanna share your content on different social media platforms, you can very easily do that as well. And if you wanna grow your audience, you can very easily drag and drop a mailing list onto your website as well. So I know a lot of you like me, love food and if you take a lot of food photos when you go to cafes and restaurants or you take photos of your food that you make and you want some place to house these photos or document your recipes or you've been toying with the idea of potentially starting a food blog head to squarespace.com for a free trial and if you like it and you actually want to continue with it and you're ready to launch head to squarespace.com slash janicefung for 10 percent off and uh that's pretty much all i have to say please join me on this food journey as we head to kuon to try i don't even know how many courses of tempura omakase let's go So we have just arrived at Kuon Omakase. Now this is not the, the one that's uh, across the road, which is like the Omakase sushi place. This is the tempura. And um, I'm really, really excited to try. There is, I think there are like about eight to 10 courses. I'm gonna show you exactly what they all look like. But uh, yeah, right now we're just waiting for everyone to arrive. Everything here looks so beautiful. Um, I'm getting a little bit hungry. I think there's two sittings. There's one at five, and then there's a, there's another one at eight. But yeah, I'm very very excited. I guess our very first course has just arrived. I'll put everything in the description so that you know you know exactly what it is. It's the morokoshi tofu with. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put it in my description because I'm gonna mispronounce some of the stuff. Anyway, this looks very, very beautiful. The first thing that I think I'm going to try is the, the tofu with the caviar. It's in this like really beautiful glass bowl. It is exactly like a tofu mochi, a creamy tofu mochi. Okay, next up, I'm going to try the octopus. It's in a very beautiful box so I'm gonna uncover it with you together right now it's a tad bit chilly but this is very very refreshing there's also like a wasabi flavor in these octopus so it's like quite fresh there's a slight hint of wasabi as well next up we have the seaweed it's in a in a ponzu sauce and it's got ginger on top as well it's also in a very beautiful bowl this is what it looks like it's very, very refreshing. The ponzu in combination with the ginger. I really like it. Next up, we have a two-week dry-aged... Next up, it's a two-week dry-aged Imperador, which is a type of fish that I've never had before. It's very beautifully plated in a very beautiful bowl and um, I'm about to consume it. All right, first try of Imperador. Sometimes I feel like I don't know enough about food to say, to describe in the right words how good it tastes. Hey, how would you describe the fish? It's very firm, it's very sweet and and the shiso leaves. 
that's been like chopped up. Very good. Some of these things are so beautiful, I don't even want to eat it. But next up we have a Japanese egg custard with snow crab and matsutake mushrooms. So I can see the crab legs inside this egg custard, it's glistening in the light. I'm going to break it apart with the spoon very delicately, don't worry. I'll be very gentle with it. It's like a combination of really smooth egg custard but it's a bit savory, and then you've got that juicy crab leg. It's really tender, and it's really smooth, and it's really silky. I'm so happy there's four pieces of um, crab leg meat in this. All right, I think we're about to start on our tempura. So what we've got is we've got some cabbage, we've got some daikon radish, and we've got our tempura sauce. And we've also got salt dish for diff three different types of salt. There's a curry salt, there is a sea salt, and there's also... And what was suggested to us was to add like about half the daikon radish into the tempura sauce, which of course is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna follow instructions to the tea but I'm very excited. The first tempura that we'll be having is paradise prawn. I'm not sure what paradise prawn is, but um, anything with the word paradise in it, I'm excited. Okay, first up we have a prawn head and I've been recommended to use the curry salt, so I'm gonna try that. The curry salt is delicious. Oh, wow. Next up we have the paradise prawn. I have two because my friend can't eat prawns. So I guess it's my lucky day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some, put one in salt and then another one in the curry salt. It's very, very nicely crumbed on the outside. It's very light. The curry salt is delicious. I wonder where they can get it. Anyway, that's besides the point for now because I do want to talk about these prawns. They're very fresh, beautiful, lightly crumbed, crispy. All right, next up we have the lotus root. We get a whole one and then they cut it in half. What should I dip it in? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip one half in the curry cell and the other, just the tempura dipping sauce. It's not bad, but I like the prawns a lot more. Mmm, I do like the daikon radish. It's very delicious. I think I can just like eat a whole thing with the tempura sauce with rice. It's so uh, appetizing. Next up we have the shiitake mushroom and these ones we put in the dipping sauce. I've actually been putting everything in the dipping sauce so far, but uh, this one is instructed to be put into the dipping sauce. I've actually added just a whole bunch of daikon radish into my sauce as well. So here we go. This is what it looks like. It's a very nice tonggu. It reminds me of um, Chinese New Year with the fam. All right, next up we have the cuttlefish. So uh, I just put it in some of the, not the curry salt and not the sea salt. The outside is very light and crisp and the inside is nice and chewy. It's quite thick as well. Once you like get through the, the crunchy bits, it's like your teeth sinks into the cuttlefish. Next up we have scallops, um, it looks very very beautiful, it's very crisp on the outside, it looks very very pillowy on the inside. I have three pieces so let's try it as is for now and then we'll like dip it in the different salts. Oh wow. It's very light and crisp on the outside and then inside it's like a burst of sweetness and nice juicy scallop, that's exactly what it is. Okay, next up I'm gonna go with just the normal salt.
so nice and crisp on the outside. And then once you bite into it, it's like, it feels so sweet. It's so tender. I prefer it with the salt. I think it's more delicious like that. All right, next up, we have the blue horn chili. It's not blue. It doesn't have a horn. So I'm not sure why it's called that, but it smells very fragrant. And that is all we care about. Look at this. I'm going to put it in my um, tempura sauce as well. It smells a little bit like green capsicum. It also tastes a little bit like green capsicum. It's like a nice sort of intermission between... Oh, so we get yuzu sorbet and then we get other sorts of tempura. Oh wow, I'm very, very excited. I think um, I'm actually starting to get a little bit full now, but we're just halfway through the menu. All right, next up we have the live marin. Now, obviously, it's yeah, not live so right now. Cool. It used to be alive, but not anymore. Yeah, but uh, this is my beautiful piece of marin. I am not gonna one butter it because I do want to like savor it. So I'm gonna dip it into the salt first, and then we're gonna try the dipping sauce. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside as well, because I want to try and bring you on this experience as much as possible. It's obviously very crisp on the outside. So it's not like lobster and it's not like prawns where it's like really, really firm. All right, now I think we're having like a small intermission. We're having a small break. So we've got the yuzu sorbet in a really cute little cup. So. It's very citrusy and very refreshing. I really like this. I'd be happy to have this as my dessert. If you close your eyes and you ate this, you absolutely would know that this is yuzu. All right, now we're on to our next second half of the menu, but we still have a lot of things to cover. So I'm very excited about that. So next up, we have the dry aged tooth fish tempura style. Oh wow. I don't know if you've had toothfish before, but it's actually one of my favorite types of fish. It's very juicy, it's very flaky, it's very soft, it's very tender, but outside is still very light and crispy. Okay, so I put some salt in this as well. This is probably my, my favorite item so far. I like it with salt more than just having it as is. All right, next up we have the abalone. I can't say it. Every time I say it, it's like abalone, but it's not lonely. It's lone abalone. But this is what it looks like. I put this in, in the uh, curry salt. It's not bad. I mean, I like the curry salt. It does require a lot of chewing. Tastes exactly like abalone should. My favorite so far is still the scallop and also the dry aged toothfish. Okay, next up we have the sea urchin. I'm just gonna one biter it. It's creamy, it's crunchy. See, I'm not like a huge fan of sea urchin, but if you, if you do like sea urchin, I think you'll like that a lot. It's like I'm swimming in the ocean and then accidentally took some gulps of water while I'm swimming in the ocean. Next up, we have the kabocha. <laughs> this is really, really hot. It was, I think, like 140 degrees. So what they suggested is put it into the dipping sauce. It will cool it down a little bit. So. She did say, don't one bite it. Small bites only. Well, that is very, very hot. It's like pumpkin slash sweet potato kind of consistency which I really like. Put some salt on it and then I'm just looking at how my friend's doing it. She's scooping it in. So 
I'm gonna do the same. Mmm. I actually don't mind this. I'm not a huge fan of eel, so I never order like eel rice or anything, but this is in combination with the salt and in combination with the daikon. It's actually really good. Okay, next up we have the miso soup. I'm really starting to um, feel the food settle in my stomach. There is some tofu puffs, there is seaweed, there's spring onions. This tastes better than the miso paste that I make at home. Next up we have the Northern Bluefin Tuna Tartar in a hand roll. There's the rice and then there's the tuna tartar. And then a very crisp nori sheet on the outside. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. The rice is savory, but it's also vinegary and you've got that freshness of the, of the tuna on top. And then like it's a combination of different textures as well because you've got that crunch at the very top and then you've also got the crispness of the nori sheet. That was delicious. It was only two bites and I'm getting full, but I kind of wish I had another one. Okay, next up we have the Tasmanian sea urchin with ikura. So this is what it looks like. Rice on the bottom, sea urchin on top, and then the fish row on the very, very top, wrapped around in a crisp nori sheet. I'm gonna two bite of this. I never usually like sea urchin that much. It's really good, but this one, it just, it just tastes so fresh. There's no fishiness to it. It's very creamy. It's like butter of the sea. I think that's it. Oh, we have dessert. We have dessert and then that's it. We're on to our dessert now, which is cream puff with caramelized apple. Wow. So this is, look how beautiful it is on the inside. I think I'm just gonna eat it like a sandwich. I don't know how else to do it. I don't have a knife to cut it in half, so. Where's the apple? Oh, there it is. It's like chopped up apple on the inside. It's creamy, it's juicy, it's fruity, but it's also carby. It tastes like Christmas is what it is. Right, we are done with dinner and I do want to take a quick moment and talk about my experience tonight. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I had a really good time and I enjoyed, you know, most of the dishes that they offered. My favorite was probably the toothfish and also the scallops. The scallops were so deliciously juicy and tender and the toothfish was just, you know, it was flaking. It was so tender. It was, um, it was just melt in your mouth. And for the entire night, the chef looked like he was genuinely enjoying himself. He looked so happy and I always find it really inspiring to see people exude so much joy when they're doing their job. So this is the first time I've ever had tempura omakase and I think this is one of those experiences that I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to to try and now that I've tried it I probably don't need to try again in in a while and if you are trying to decide as to whether you want to go to Kuon for tempura omakase I hope that this video helps inform your decision alternatively if you've been trying to make a booking at Kuon and you haven't been able to do that I hope that this video gives you a nice snippet as to you know what the experience is like and uh, that is pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching till the end I post new videos every week check them out if you have time have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video bye
Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. All my dreams of being a makeup guru is being fulfilled in today's session. Yes, here you go, guys. Here you go, guys. 